what did the, um, the inventor in cold invent page 168? Yeah, um, I mean, you can find the answer in this page. This is what the pages mean. So what did he, yes. in, this one is easy. What he did invent? Yes. In cold feet, in the poem, cold feet, what did the inventor invent? He invented something. What was it? Yes, yes. He invented. He invented. With feet like eyes. Looks looks like uh, you still didn't have your breakfast, or maybe you're fasting, and that's why you're not. Next. Yes. Okay. Can I can I ask someone else? I'm going to ask someone else. Okay, Dana. Nas. I said the event. Yes, what did you say? Yes, Dana. I, I it's lagging. I can only hear he I said he invent. You you muted yourself. Okay, Nasser, can you answer number three? What did the inventor in cold feet invent? Nasser, yes. Can you answer this question? No. Okay. Uh, let me ask. Raise your hand if you know. There was no connection. This is what you want to say, Dana. It's okay, miss. Don't worry. I can see that it was lagging a lot. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Maya. He invented socks. So, how do we answer in full answer? What do we say? The the inventor invented socks. The inventor in cold feet, it means in this poem. Yes, invented socks. Yes. Thank you, Maya. Welcome. Okay. Uh, Majd, how was the problem in cold feet solved? There was a problem, right? How was it solved? Yes. What did the inventor do to solve this problem? <laughs> First, the inventor looked, yes, studied, and read them, read them, then, then he knit the first sock. Excellent. So first, the inventor looked at clothes, studied feet. Uh, read about, you have to say, read about cold and heat. Why can't you read about? Yes, but you have to say, uh, read about what? You have to say cold and heat. And then at the end, he knit the first socks. Yes, this is the right answer. Last for you, Majd, as well. Thank you. Okay, now uh, for this one about the simile. Open mega pack, page 90. Let me choose uh, Ali Abu Khalil. Yalla, Ali Abu Khalil. <laughs> yeah. Yalla, Ali. Read the question, read each passage. Like this for a long time. 
Yes, but first we have to read them. Huh? They say write the symbol. Yes. Write the symbol. Write the line. Then write the two things that are being compared. Bravo. So what is the symbol here? Books and gifts. Yes, so I, I brought books, so books compare. Books to my mom and dad. So this is the first one. This is the simile sentence and gifts or like gifts. This is the sentence, okay? So yes. what are the two things being com compared? As you said, Ali, books and gifts are being compared. Yes. That is correct. Bravo. Now, in the phonics, if you remember, we talked about digraphs, right? Yalla, let me have a little. Yalla, a Yes, Yalla. You can open, those who have the mega pack, you can open your mega pack, page 94. <laughs> Right. Ali, I, I cannot hear you clearly. It's lagging a lot. Baby bird is a chick. Yes. So write the spelling. A baby bird is a Correct. Bravo, Aline. Bravo, miss. Plus for Ali Abu Khalil and the plus for Aline, of course. <laughs> Check. So what is the diagraph in check, Aline? Did you mute? Okay, no problem. Let me have now a Celine. Yalla, Celine. Yes. Yeah. An honest? An honest story. Truth. Truth. That is correct. Bravo. Plus for you, Celine, as well. Uh, I'm, I'm going to allow to unmute, okay? Because we need to do it fast, faster. Yalla Hashem. A what? Okay, a kind of diary food, it's a kind of diary food, it's lunch. No, you have, look, Lunch, lunch, can be chicken. Is the chicken a kind of diary food? Yes, I know. No, Miss, no, I know. Again. Yes, again. I know. Miss, hash, yes, I, I know. know. I will mute you all again. Unfortunately, Miss, you cannot follow the rules. Only Hashem. Yalla Hashem. Uh, okay. A kind of diary food, is it cheese? Yes. Of course, cheese, yogurt, milk, all these are diary food. What is, what is diary food? These are the, that comes from cows and the goats. Oh, okay. Yalla, after Hashem, I have Huda Farhat. Huda, did you fix the mic? Still not. Uh, Hussam Kirdi, yalla Hussam. Yes. Yalla, number four, Emil. A meal eaten in the middle of the day. Mm -hmm. Whales. Whales? Do you eat whales in the middle of the day? You know, lunch. Lunch, yes. Okay, I, can, I can't imagine you eating whales, uh, Hassan. Says way done. Yalla, Hassan. Asuna, the largest mammals in the sea. Animals swim in the sea. They are the largest mammals. What do we call them? Hassan Swaydan. Okay, again. Hassan Swaydan, unmute. Whale. Whales, bravo, whales. These are the largest mammals. Hassan, 
Do you know what is the largest animal on land? Not in the sea. Do you know what is the largest animal on land? Do you know or no? Large animal. You, I'm just, Large animal. If you don't know, it's okay. Let's see, Tia, do you know the largest animal on land? Tia. Elephant, yes. Elephant, yes, that is correct. Bravo, Tia. Okay. No, Sand said that. Who? Elephant. Elephant. Yes. Oh, that's why then you said elephant. Yes. Oh, bravo. Okay, excellent. Bravo, Hussein. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Yalla, let me move on to Kristen. I will unmute. One second. Yalla, Kristen. Section B. Hello, Miss. Good morning. Good morning. So, section B. Directions. Write the spelling word that best completes completes each sentence. Mm -hmm. We had so much snow that our school closed. Yes, we had so much snow that our school much is the right answer. Bravo. What is the digraph in the word much? I'm sorry, Miss. Can you please repeat? What is the digraph? Is it uh, you? Is the digraph in left in the word much? I mean, there isn't. I think. <laughs> How come? Let's see, Laila. Laila, Kristen. Okay. Please mute, mute, Kristen. Please. Yalla, Laila. Okay. Yes, teacher. So, can you help me? What is the digraph in the word much? Much? Yes, what is CH. CH is the digraph. Excellent. Brilliant. Okay, let's do number two. Okay, I can blank well, well, but I'm not good at catching. Um, uh, catch. Catch? No, I mean... No, I mean, uh, which word means a throw? Catch. Catch. Which one? There is no, there's no catch. Is it teacher or thick or fish or pitch, stretch, them, half, mm -hmm. halfway or what? Um, Pitch. Yes, pitch. And what is the digraph in the word pitch? PCH. PCH. Excellent. Bravo, Laila. Thank you. Uh, Mira Hadruj. Yalla, Mira. After Mira, Muhammad, yes. Basma, Muhammad Basma. Okay. Yalla, number three, Mira. Our what asked? Asked. Our ask to open the box, teacher. That's the teacher. Well, what is the diagram of the word teacher? Um, CH. That's correct. Bravo, Mira. Yalla, Muhammad Balgut. Yalla, Muhammad. Yes, yes. Yalla. Number five. Does the turtle's eggs have hatch yet? Excellent. Bravo, Muhammad. What is the digraph in the word hatch? ECA. Excellent. Yes. Thank you, Muhammad. Yalla, Basma, Muhammad. Muhammad, Basma, one. Muhammad, Basma, two. Muhammad Basma three. Okay. From now on, every time I call someone, he doesn't reply, I will put minus. Okay. 
يلا ناصر يلا ناصر انا ميوت يا وي يس I didn't solve it, but I'm solving it with you now, but... Bravo. Bravo, Miss. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Nasser, what is the digraph in stretch? Um, C -T -R -T, uh, I mean S-T-C-H. S-T? C-H? S-T-H. No, no. The stre. This is a three letters blend. This oh. is another lesson. Yeah. The digraph is only TCH, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Actually, you know, the letter blend is the opposite of the digraph. The letter blend, we have to say the sound of each letter. But in the digraph, we actually yeah. blend. We, 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 we make one sound of more than one letter. Like PH, we make P. We do not say the sound of the letter. Thank you. Yella, let me have now Tia. Yes. Yella, Tia, number six. The eyes, the eyes on the pond. The eyes on the pond is not is not um, blank enough. Bravo. Um, you have four words left. Thick, thick. Pitch means a throw. I thick. Yes, thick is the right answer. Bravo. And where is the digraph in the word thick? Yeah. G-T-H. Excellent. And what is the opposite of thick? Thin. Bravo. You earned your plus. Let me have time. It's time. Thank working. you. Uh, let me have Yasma. She's not with us. Zakaria. Yes, miss. Yalla, yalla, Zakaria. Zakaria, are you okay? We walk down the dash in the park. Mm -hmm. We walk down the pathway. Bravo. Are you okay, Zakaria? You seem not well. Yes. You're well or not well? You don't know if you... Are you feeling fine? No. Zakaria. Yes. Yeah, I'm feeling fine. I'm asleep now. It's six o'clock on nine. Ah, ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Zakaria. Okay, let me get back to Ali Abu Khalil. Yalla Ali Abu Khalil, back to you. Now here in Yes, Zakaria. It's I like apples, but I like I will. okay. Okay, I totally understand the career. Don't worry, my dear. Yalla Ali Abu Khalil, back to you. I, I like, like apples, but I like them. That is the right answer. Thank you, Miss. What is the diagraph in them? Th. Th. Bravo. Yalla Ali, number nine. Yes, we saw we saw 
them swimming in the pond? Mm, we use them in the in the sentence number eight. We said I like apples, but I like them peeled. Oh, we saw we saw what what is one thing that usually swims in the in the water, Aline? Fish. <laughs> That's the answer. S and H, bravo. Selena Isa, number 10. Yes, teacher. Hello, number 10. Books are we supposed to read. Much? We used much. Can I say, uh, there's a, the, this is a word that we're going to, we need in order to ask a question. Yes. So which word I used to ask a question from the list? What? Yes. And what is the paragraph in the word what? W-H. Amazing. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Bravo. You're welcome. Yeah, after Celine, Dana, did Dana come back? Yeah, Dana. I hope now your internet is more stable, Dana. Yes, yes. Dana, read the read B. This is this is on page 81 in your mega pack. Okay. We've combined sentence that share the same subject nouns or predicate nouns. Write a new sentence on the line. Yes. We visited the first station. Fire. Fire station. Yes. Yes. We visited the po post office. Hmm. We visited the fire station and the post office. Excellent. Bravo, Dana. Thank you, Miss. Yalla Hashem. Okay. Trees had red leaves, but trees have yellow leaves. But trees had red leaves and yellow leaves. Yes, or I can also say the trees have red and yellow. I don't have to say red leaves and yellow leaves, okay? I can say the trees have red and yellow leaves. It's also correct. Okay, okay. okay. Huda uh, Farhad, did you fix your mic? Not yet. Osam Kurdi, Yalla, please mute Hashem. Yes. Yalla, Hussam, number three. Mr. Timmons. Timmons is a coach. Miss Lange is a coach. Yes, how do you combine them together? What do you say? There's a question about combining sentences in the quiz, okay? So who are we talking about in these sentences, Hussam? Demons and... Yes, that's it. That's it. So Mr. Timmons and Miss Lange. What, what's wrong with them? It's a coach. But do I say is? No. Because, because I have more than one. What do I say? This what, is a coach. What do you use for plurals? Which, which, um, which helping verb you have am or is or are? Which one do you use if you have more than one? Do you say or, huh? is? No, not is. Is for singular. Which one is for plural? Are. Uh, are. Now, when I'm talking yeah. about the plurals, it means that the word coach is also in plural. So how do you make coach in plural? Coach. 
coaches? Yes. So what do you add to it? S or ES? ES. ES. Why? Because it ends with CH. Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you, my dear Sam. Thank you, Miss. Now, um, think about an animal you would like to help. This was in the quiz last week, if you remember. This quiz, there is no writing, okay? Use sequence words to explain how you would help the animal. So, uh, as we said, sequence words, what are sequence words? Sequence words are like first. So, you say what you do first, next. Then at last, okay? These are the sequence words that we use. After first, we put comma. After next, I put comma. One second. After then, no comma. After at last, I should put a comma. Okay, so these are the sequence words that we have studied or covered so far. Now, I want to ask... Layla, yes. Yella, Layla. Uh, let's. We were going to imagine something. Okay. First, we need mm -hmm. topic sentence. In the topic sentence, I need to talk about the animal, and then in details one, detail two, and detail three, we're going to talk about first, next, and last. So, what animal would you like to help? I would like to help a bird with a broken wing so, uh, or any type of animal like that. Good one. But but now we have to put it in a form of, uh, or in a story, in the form of a story. Yeah. So how would you say that? Um, one day. Exactly. I found. Bravo. You have to put the setting. One day. Yeah. Yes. I found a little bird with a broken wing. Bravo. He was so injured and tired, so I thought that I would help him. One second. It was, because it's an animal, so we say it was. Yeah. It was, it was so injured. It was so injured and tired. And tired. I thought, I thought a bit how I can help it. So I thought it needs help. Yeah. Bravo, Miss. Excellent, excellent topic sentence. Amazing. Thank you, Layla. Let me have a Kristen now. He's going to tell us what he can do first. Hello, Miss, again. Hello, again. So, detail one. Yeah. First thing you did. You did. Hmm. It's, I'll bring it maybe to the vet or somewhere so... So we can fix the broken wing. So what do you say first? So you, okay. First, I would bring it to the vet or somewhere I can fix the broken wing. I took it to the vet. Okay? Okay. Okay. This one is good. Uh, let me have now Majd. Should I mute myself now? Yes. This <laughs> is Okay. Uh, page 83. This is page 83. Miss, I did it. Yeah, but maybe you didn't write about the bird. You have to give us an, some... We are writing about a bird. Me too, bird. Okay, so Kristen said, first I took it to the vet. What, what do you think you should do next? Next, I went back home and give him his treat, treat, treat. And fed him. And fed him. Okay. Okay. You fed it because it's a bird. You you will probably fed it. Yes. Okay. Good one. Thank you much. Yalla Pira. Yes, miss. What do you do at last, Mira? Uh, 
um, at last I I uh, so uh, we took we took it to the vet, okay, and yeah. now we brought it back home. We gave him we gave it food and water. Okay, so what do we have to do at the end? Or what do you think? We want to care of it. Yeah, but, but we took care of it. We took him to the van. What? Yes. It's Mira, what do you think would happen at the end to the to the bird? Give me a happy ending. Um, Finally, um, he finally we he be finally. So, he, At last, the bird became better. Better, yes. And ready to and to fly. fly. Okay. So this is what happens at the end. So here, yeah. here uh, at the at the last page, you have to copy these sentences. These sentences you have to copy them back on these lines. Don't forget to give your work a title. Let's say um, to the rescue mm -hmm. or rescuing a bird. Maybe to the rescue if you want to. Okay, or you can say uh, poor bird, whatever, whatever title you choose. Or maybe you wrote about something else other than bird. My daughter Maya, she wrote about a rabbit, for example. So it's up to you. Okay, now listen, I will move on to something very important. Just give me one second. Okay, as you can see, this is the um, the flip grid, and I have the English reading competition. Okay, now I said here submit here. Let me show you how many students have actually read the stories. I'm a little bit disappointed. I don't know what are you waiting for. Grade three reading competition. Here it is. So far, I have. Four responses. Who submitted? Dana was the first one. Then Ali Abu Khalil. Then Hashem. Then a Kristen. Thank you, Miss. Thank you for those four students. Now I want to just a quick question. What about the rest of you? Only four students? I mean, this is this is not much. I need more participants. What about you, Tia? Why didn't you participate? You can unmute. It looks like no one wants to participate. Let them ask. Yes, Tia, what about you, Miss? Why didn't you participate? I can do it today. Miss, which competition? Majd, do you see these stories? Yes. They are really very nice stories. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stories. You still I want to read them? I can give you another week, no problem. But but I want you to read them. They're really nice stories. Okay. Miss, where do Miss, where do we go to read them? Miss, um, how I Okay. Wait, I already, I already sent, wait, wait one second, Hashem. I already sent the link on Flip on the WhatsApp group. If you okay. did not get it, send to me a private message. Tell your parents, your mom, to send me a private message and I will send you all the stories. I will send you the link again. Okay. And you could go to Gmail because my dad put the link for a Flip grid in Gmail. Yes. 
finish reading the stories, you have to fill in this book report and then you click on submit here. It will only, just like when you do a quiz, there will be something called add. You add the file over there. Okay. Okay. So please. Okay. okay. Layla Farhat, Majd, Zakaria, Aline. Aline, why didn't you participate? Who else? I will. Muhammad Zalgut, Serena. Serena is with us. Okay, Serena as well, Miss. All of you, I want you to participate. And miss, I sent it for you. Dana, I know, I know. Dana was the first one to send me the, the stories. 